Okay, so this is video number two of the centrifuge stand for the veggie oil car. Um, basically done with the top tank. You can see here it's upside down right now. That's the sump. So a lot, a lot of welding. A lot, a lot of welding. Not very easy and a lot of grinding this smooth. A lot more than I anticipated. It's about 15 after, quarter after one. So, as far as the outside's concerned, it's done. You know, all the all the edges are welded smooth or ground smooth. Um, might have to touch up the sides a little bit. You can feel a little bit of splatter here and there. It's just me being that picky. But this is the sump area. So either here, here, or here, depending on when I put the centrifuge mount, we'll punch a hole in there and put a fitting. So and a bolt on fitting. All of these welds on the inside are, are fully welded, and matter of fact, excessively welded. I needed to make sure that this is not going to leak at all. What I'm probably going to do after I'm fully, fully done cleaning this up, I'm probably going to take it and, and fill it up with water, as much as I really don't want to do that because I'm worried about rust. I'm probably going to do it anyways. Um, I figure if it's full of water, water's thinner than oil. If it's going to leak, that's where I'm going to find out. I don't think it's going to. I'm 99.99% .99 positive this thing is tight, tight. No, no pinholes or nothing like that. So, anyway, subscribe, comment, like. Um, more videos to come. Um, I'm not going to show you guys too much of the, the bottom tank except for the tank actually being in the finished, you know, finished product, kind of like this is. Bottom tank will not have this sump here. It'll probably be just like this, with a valve, with a valve right there, um, like a spigot type valve or something. Um, doesn't need this sump. This is more for gravity. You know, the deeper and the steeper this is, it might not even be that that steep of an incline or funnel shape or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I'm tired. So, anyways, talk to you guys later. Again, subscribe, comment, like, and you'll see the follow-up videos of this. And hopefully I'll have it done by this coming weekend. Um, I got about this much sheet metal left. I need to mark it all out tomorrow and find out if I have enough to do the bottom tank. I don't think I do, though. Um, hopefully I will, but I don't think I do. Um, just because there's a lid, this didn't have a lid, and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to try to do this part a little bit more shallow on the other one. So we'll see. I'm going to possibly make the tank a little bit smaller as well as far as height is concerned because it will have a lid, and this probably will not be filled up all the way. We'll probably have three inches left here. This is the top, by the way. So if I can cut three inches off, because this is a foot, if I can cut three inches off of the bottom tank, I think, I think we'll be good there. So anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.